Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. Having trouble passing a Madden 23? Want a more consistent and explosive offense? Break yourself, fool! In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about passing. and a step-by-step -step guide with everything from the best passing settings to use, pre-snap adjustments to make, and what you can do in play to maximize results to score more points. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. I definitely appreciate the support. And if you need more help with tips and money plays, you can also check out any of my eBooks. All you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to your email for instant download. First up, Madden 23 has a brand new optional passing system to Change or select the passing settings of your choice. All you have to do is go to the options from the pause menu or the home screen, then select settings and game options at the very top, which will bring up the skill based passing menu. If you are still using classic passing, that is fine, but I would definitely recommend changing to placement and accuracy setting at some point as this system isn't going anywhere and will give you the most advantages, allowing you to make a lot of passes that you cannot make otherwise in classic mode. After that, you also have the option to change things like freeform reticle speed and max distance, but I left all of mine on the default settings as I think they are the best. I already did a full breakdown video going into more depth with these passing settings at the beginning of the year, so if you guys want to know more about this, I will have a link in the description and an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Next up, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to read the defense, as that is something you should do pre-snap on every play. But before I do, the next setting you're going to want to adjust is your audible plays, so that you can change the play based on what defense your opponent is in to maximize the effectiveness. To do this, you first have to choose the formation that you want to run your offense from. Then before choosing a play, hit the left trigger or L2 button. From here, you have to choose a play to replace first, then choose a play you want to replace it with. Just make sure that you choose plays for different defenses, like different man and zone coverages, so you can audible to them based on what defense your opponent is using. Next up, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to read a defense. I also made a longer video going more in depth about how to read and beat every single defense in the game. So if you guys want to know more about that, once again, I will have a link in the description and at the end of the video. Different offensive formations can get different pre-snap reactions. So I'm going to use the gun bunch as this is one of the most popular and the type formation makes the defense easier to read. But keep in mind that your favorite offensive formation might react differently. The easiest way to read a defense is to look at the cornerback depths and how far away they start from the line of scrimmage. Defenses like cover three, cover four, man cover Cover 1 and Man 0 all start 8 yards away, while Cover 2 zone starts 5 yards away, and Cover 2 Man starts right in front of the receivers. Now, since Cover 3, 4, and Man coverages all start with 8 yards, the next read to make is to look at their alignments. If they are directly in front of the receivers, it's Man. If they are playing outside, it's a zone. Blitzing is the preferred defense online in Madden 23, so next I will go over protection calls. Blocking the running back is probably the most useful, which is something that you can do in the hot route menu, which you can access by hitting the wire triangle button. But if your running back is in a play action and you decide during the play that you want to cancel that and turn him into a blocker faster, all you have to do is hit the R2 or the right trigger button, and he will instantly switch his attention to try to pick up the nearest blitzer. You also have the option of hitting the L1 or the left bumper button to bring up individual pass protection options like sliding and double teaming, but in my experience in Madden and 23 none of these really do much this year to help as the protection is more predicated on your behavior in the pocket once the play starts which i'll go over next but before i do i want to tell you guys about an exciting offer from this video's sponsor DraftKings, as i was really excited when they contacted me to promote their product since i use their app to play daily fantasy football every week throughout the football season and i also have won several large cast prizes in the process so if you think you know football i can't recommend you trying this enough as DraftKings has so many ways to make watching sports more fun and the big game also has the biggest prizes. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MONEYSHOT, bet $5 on the big game, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code MONEYSHOT only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Yep, that's right. New customers bet just $5 on the big game, and you'll instantly get $200 in bonus bets in your account. Wondering what you could use $200 in bonus bets on? Try out same game parlays, where you can combine multiple bets from one game, like which team will have the most passing yards, and who will score the first touchdown of the night for even bigger winnings. But if mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still get in on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy.
Pocket presence is key to buying time in Madden 23, as there are several known penalties with moving too much in the pocket that will result in you getting pressured or sacked faster. The most well known is leaving the pocket entirely, as it will result in the edge rusher in that area to get instantly off their blocks and chase you down. But a much lesser known penalty comes from moving too much in the pocket. As you can see, making too many erratic movements too quickly will result in faster block sheds from different defensive linemen. I get a lot of comments in my videos from people saying that they have no time to throw and this is probably why so my suggestion is to go into practice mode and practice dropping back as there's a technique to doing this and properly buying time even if you have less blockers than blitzers are being sent all you have to do to maximize your blocking whether you're facing an elite pass rusher or someone is sending more blitzers than you have blockers is to slide away from it and reset the pocket which is something that you should do constantly and be doing throughout the entire play you have to use your blockers when in the pocket the same way that you use your blockers on a run play. In both situations, is all about the angle you take behind your blockers that will decide if they hold up the block or not. If you see a defender starting to get leverage to get past the block, you just have to reset the pocket once again by moving with the quarterback to once again put the blocker between the rusher and the quarterback. But you can't just expect the block to protect you, no matter how good they are, as it's all about angles. Which brings me to my next tip, and that is the 15-yard rule. Not only do you get penalized by leaving the tackle box, but you can also get multiple penalties by dropping back too far in the pocket, as dropping back past 15 yards from the original line of scrimmage will make things happen like your receiver icons disappearing and not coming back up throughout the entire play. But even more damaging is if you throw a pass for more than 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage, as it will cause an inaccurate throw that is more likely to get intercepted than completed to a receiver so if you're in this situation it's best to just throw the ball away by pressing in the right stick or the r3 button to throw the ball safely out of bounds and move on to the next play one of the most important things when it comes to making accurate passes in madden is to set your feet before throwing which is done by doing nothing long enough so that the quarterback stops which only takes a second but will greatly increase the accuracy of your throws compared to when throwing on the run with most quarterbacks after setting your feet it is also important to step into throws by using the left stick which both controls the quarterback's move and the pass lead of the throw so it's important for both especially when throwing long passes either deep or to the outside of the field the next thing to decide is what type of pass to throw as there's three different types of passes you can do the most effective and most commonly used pass modifier is the bullet pass because it will get the ball to the receiver the fastest which is important to all areas of the field especially when trying to squeeze a pass between tight zone coverages which you can do by holding the receiver icon down throughout the entire throw the second most used throw is is the lob pass which only works in a situation where you have a trailing defender with no one over the top like a man zero with no safety help to trigger this type of throw you just have to quickly tap the receiver icon to lob it up for the receiver to run under to catch you also have one more pass modifier and that is the high point pass which you can do by holding the left bumper or the l1 button while making the throw you can combine these pass modifiers with certain catch modifiers which can turn normal plays into plays with much better results like using the aggressive catch function with a high pass making it much harder to defend or a rack catch with a deep pass for much more yards after the catch. If you're passing deep, you are most likely going to want to rack catch as this will allow you to run through the ball without breaking stride for better catch and run animations. To do this, you either have to time it by hitting the extra square button, but a better way to do this is by tapping the same button repeatedly so that you don't have to worry about timing it at all. Trust me, I do this every single time and it always works with any catching type. The next one is probably best for intermediate routes and that is the aggressive catching. Whenever you have coverage where a defender is in the area and has a reasonable chance of making a play on the ball, all you have to do is hit the wire triangle button to try to high point it and take it away before your opponent has a chance to. The third one is the safe catch. If the receiver is running over the middle of the field or anywhere where a defender might try to separate them from the ball, using this safe catch function again will instead trigger an animation where they shield the ball and drop to the ground immediately to protect it and avoid any contact. So if you're trying to make a tight throw to the sideline or the back of the end zone, tap the air X button, whether on an Xbox or PlayStation once again, so that the receiver will do everything that they can to catch the ball and get both feet in bounds. All three of these catch functions are important and one of which should be used on just about every Every single play so that's it that's the vid if you guys enjoyed the content and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel and i appreciate the support if you guys want to see more on how to read defenses or the new passing system i will have the videos that i made about those two topics popping up on screen right now so if you want to see that i'm sure it'll help out your game and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below